Identify and map existing controls to relevant fraud risks. Management of the organization is required to identify and differentiate between the preventive and detective internal controls. Preventive controls are built and implemented in the departments and processes to prevent the occurrence of fraud, whereas detective controls are controls that detect fraudulent activities. Management also identifies the general controls and differentiates these controls from the process-specific controls, which are built into the processes to prevent the occurrence of frauds. General controls are designed and implemented to support the organization, such as establishing IT processes to ensure that all departments use technology to perform their duties. On the other hand, process-specific controls include sales controls which are built into the sales system to ensure that all actual sales are recorded correctly and on a timely basis to avoid the over- or under-recording in financial statements. Other examples of process-specific controls include purchase controls built into the purchase process to ensure that all purchases are authorized as per limits. Management develops the policies and procedures for each department and core processes to ensure that all process-specific controls are documented for reference of employees working in different departments. Once all the controls are documented in the form of policies and procedures, the identified fraud risks are related to the process-specific and general controls. This interrelation helps identify gaps and weak controls to mitigate the fraud risks. On identifying weak internal controls, the initiatives are taken by relevant departments to design and establish robust controls necessary to mitigate the fraud risks. For example, in the purchase process, if the authorization controls are not built in, then there are chances that employees may misuse the purchase process for their advantage. The purchasing department needs to design authorization limits for different purchases to control this fraud risk and ensure their implementation. Such authorization limits will require approval of purchases from a manager or departmental head, which reduces the risk of fraud by the employees.